Retailers are afraid to take risks on new products. Will it work? Is it what it says it is? Doing the legwork and de-risking them is just not feasible for them. We do that work. We make these products accessible and less risky for them. At The Grommet, we launch innovative products from independent makers, from kitchen to outdoor gear to toys. Our job is to level the playing field so that you can find them. I went to the University of Michigan. Industrial design became my major. Industrial design was this blend of business and creation. I got to create things, but also answer business needs. The first portable computer I ever saw, I designed. Like, it was 1981, so people didn't have personal computers at all. I aspired to being a decision maker as well. I saw how getting an MBA would really help me get where I wanted to go. when I was working at Play School. I noticed that our best products, our new products, didn't make it to market. They would get to prototype and then fall off the table. So I went to my boss and she said, here's the deal, we're losing all the independent and specialty toy stores who take chances on new products. So today, if Kmart, Target, Toys R Us, or Walmart don't want it, we can't make it. And that's where it sort of occurred to me, like this is a problem that the best products never see the light of day. I want to help these makers. I want to build a community and build a platform for them. This is I did not have a lot of time for. I could write at least I was able to raise our first capital because I was 47. And when you're 47, you know people who've succeeded. And in particular, it was my business school friends. We test about 30 products a week, and we get very close to these companies and learning whether the promises they make are true, whether it's made a product made in the USA or made sustainably, or, or if it's a social enterprise. And then we do produce original media, video, copy, and campaigns, and, and really stick with these companies. Every young company is going to have massive challenge. Ours was financing. I was told I was too old, too blonde, too female. She doesn't look like a CEO. I ended up reaching out to the CEO of a company called Rakuten, a Japanese company in Tokyo. Total Hail Mary. Didn't know him. Wrote to him. He wrote back within seconds. I met him three weeks later. He invested two months later. And what I see after 11 years is that People do seek deeper meaning in their lives in all kinds of forms. It sounds crass to say that our purchases are expression of our morals, but they have become that because we form the world we live in a great deal by the companies we support or shun. How do I look? Like queen of the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> so what is a grommet? A is a piece of hardware. It's what you might find a tent tarp or at the top of a shower curtain. I like the way it's like this humble piece of material that sort of surrounds something and protects it. And that's what we do. Like we surround these makers and we protect them and, and take care of them.